<laughs> um, I've gotten a new, I guess, a new outlook on church myself. Because that's one thing, like, I grew up coming to church and I was always the one sitting in the pews. We didn't have Sunday school because our church was very small. And so I never had that fun aspect of it. And it was, I, to be honest, I, from, during my teens, I got away from the church because it wasn't pulling me in. And so now, for me, I've come to realize that, okay, maybe it's not just the same stuff. Like, it's finding new ways and I'm starting to come back because I'm starting to help teach. But it's also interesting to listen and learn and to hear different stories. For example, this year we had 73 kids and this place boomed for four days. John and I were here with Matthew and Marnie and uh, all the other volunteers. And it was so delightful to feel the spirit of the children. And really, to me, it just brought me closer to Christ. The thing over the last four years, it started out with, what, 15 kids the first year? This is the fourth year. Uh, this year uh, we had to do a lot of renovations due to fire code. So uh, when the fire department came in, uh, we had to replace, for example, these doors and unfortunately put in exit signs. Uh, and in the hall we had to put in uh, fire doors everywhere with the emergency bars on both the back. After the congregation saw the results of the good work that was done, we're in the process of switching this over to a winter chapel because it's just too expensive to, to heat and run the big church in the winter. It's not insulated. They ha some of them have become closer to the church. Um, we've been fortunate that uh, out of the 14 that we started with, I would say we started a Sunday school with 10 of them. I've always, in my own journey, um, been privileged to in a way walk between rural and urban. I grew up in a very rural farming community in, in this place, um, but you know, my, my education has taken me to urban centers you know, in Ottawa and beyond. And yeah, being, there's this thing about being rooted to the land and yet that land empowering you to go to the city to, to, to really you know, kind of like it's it's a it's a very gospel narrative, I guess, of of, of starting in the country, uh, and but the journey ultimately ending where at the capital, uh, where where everyone is gathered. It's hard to leave a community where you brought your children up and they attended the local school and you participated in the uh, the school program with the children. So when Matthew became involved with the child poverty and the daily bread program at the school. I was interested because I remember monitoring the lunch programs and seeing what the children were bringing for lunch and how they behaved in the schoolyard. And um, from my nursing background, I know how important nutrition is to children and how it affects their behavior. Do you guys know what other stuff you're making this week? Uh, no, we pretty much are just cutting up. So. You guys are just working on the, yeah, we're just cutting the up. making we're, stage. But, and we're making a stick, we're making a rainbow. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs>